I love teaching. I love learning too. And some of the, my best demonstrations are actually ones that I've learned from my students. They'll hang around after class and say, hey, Mr. Becker, have you seen this? And I've got two to show you here that both I've learned from students, one about 20 years ago and one about two years ago. And uh, they both pertain to Boyle's Law. That is, that as volume decreases, pressure increases for a gas sample. Lots of straws work for this. McDonald's straws work great. I've got some uh, just regular drinking straws here. And the trick here is to pinch it off like this and then decrease the volume. And that's done in kind of an interesting way. You start twisting it like this. And this is where you'll start to know whether the straw is going to work or not. If it holds up to the pressure, it starts to get tougher and tougher right there. So it's not leaking. Then you have a friend come up and give it a thwack, which I'm going to do right here. Oop. Let's start that one again. That one didn't work. So pinch it off. Wrap it up. And nice little pop noise there. And the straw, of course, has, has been blown apart by that, OK? By that increased pressure. That was a good one, OK? So that's a straw popper. I've gotten kicked out of McDonald's at least five times doing that. Just, <laughs> but I always blame it on my daughter, so we get kicked out. Um, let me show you on the PowerPoint how that worked. Um, I put a little PowerPoint animation together, and uh, hopefully this will work. Let's see. That's the straw, cross-section of the straw. First thing you saw me do was pinch off the ends, so now it's a closed sample. And of course, there are gas molecules in there, nitrogen and oxygen air, and they're bouncing around in there. As such, they're applying a pressure, okay, in all directions, as they tend to do. Then you saw me take that pinched off straw and twist it up on itself. It got smaller and smaller and smaller, but I didn't let any gas out, so those same molecules were in there. This is important. Those are not moving any faster than they were before. They may look like it because they're hitting the walls more often. That's just because they're in a more confined space. But that does mean the pressure goes up. So as volume got cut to about maybe a third of what it was before, a fourth, the pressure goes way up. Look at the comparison of the two. And of course, the pressure then is much greater in that one. So along came a nice little thwack, and boom. <laughs> OK? So that was an illustration of what happened. I decreased the volume. The molecules were confined to a smaller space. That just meant they were hitting the walls more often. Not because they're moving faster. There was no temperature change there. There was a pressure change, hitting the walls more often. And why, what was the role of the thwack? Just to give it a little place to rupture, like when you pop a balloon. OK? This is similar. There's, uh, this is done with not a soda bottle, but with a water bottle. Either this type or this type. Shouldn't really matter. And again, I was shown this by a student. Same idea. This takes a little bit of a grip here. And you don't want to aim this at anyone, but this little lid is about to go flying. You have to twist the bottle. And when you do, it's like a little hourglass there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that means there's extra pressure throughout. And I'm going to aim at our little proper lab pup over there. And I'm just going to quickly unscrew the cap of it here. Oop. I think I might have missed him, but uh, <laughs> there's a little mist coming out of here, too. You see that? <laughs> so once again, I can do it with one of these ones. These are actually good because they're already tapered off a bit. And that gives you a place to uh, start twisting it here. And ooh, that one almost bounced back to me. Goes with quite some force. OK? Um, so <laughs> another nice illustration of Boyle's Law is volume decreases, pressure increases. And again, keep your eyes and ears open. Your students can teach you an awful lot. Thank you. <laughs>